Ooh, some more crazy and demanding texts coming from customers and rioters as well as, well, from a lift notification. Let's get right into it. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to Real Rideshare Stories. And today we're gonna go over some of the crazy and demanding texts and notifications coming from riders, from delivery customers, and well, Lyft is getting in on the action too. So let's get right into the first one. All right, now imagine you're driving down the street and you're trying to go to your pickup spot and you see this message right here that you see on the screen right now. And if you read this quick, well, it could be a whole different scenario than what you bargained for. And it says, come in and all way down make left. Well, first of all, grammatically completely incorrect, but still, you know, the way you spell certain words, you really need to pay attention to. Because, well, if you see something like that at a glance, you could be bargaining for a little bit different than what you think it could be. Just saying. All right, this next message, after I go through it, I really want to hear what your comments are after this. So make sure to comment your thoughts after I get through it. And I'm going to share and sprinkle in my thoughts in between. But still, I want to know what you think on this. So let me know. All right, so what you see on the screen right now, this is a message from a DoorDash customer to their driver because, well, some food was missing. So, as you can see, it says, you didn't bring the fries. Actually, we're missing a double quarter pounder and fries and 20 nuggets. So, look, I understand. If you forget food, yes, it's very frustrating and infuriating to the person that's receiving the food because they feel gypped and they want that food. They're looking forward to it, all that. But the DoorDasher responds and says, I'm sorry, I asked the employee. They informed me it was complete. I am not allowed to look inside the bag or open it after they tape it shut. You will have to go through DoorDash and get a refund or have them remake it for you. I do apologize. Very professional answer. Thank you, Dasher, for being professional there. This person then says, you could have easily looked at the ticket and seen the amount of food ordered. This isn't even half of it. And then the driver responds and says, Okay, I looked at the receipt. Again, the employee informed me it was complete. If you have any issues, you must contact the DoorDash support. And again, I cannot open the bag due to COVID. Still again, professional answer. Then, this is where it gets really weird. They say, we are missing a double quarter pounder, six fries, and 20 nuggets. You really have no excuse. You shouldn't even get paid. I'm in the process of changing your tip to zero. Use common sense. Dude, you should have used common sense when the person already told you that they said, hey, look, I can't look in the bag. I already verified it with the restaurant. It is the restaurant's fault. And the only way you can actually deal with it is to go through support. Either get a refund or get it remade. Pretty simple when it comes down to it. If you are actually missing all of these items, yeah, I can understand. It's going to really piss you off. But don't take it out on the driver because they already told you two times that they can't look at the order, that they verified it with an employee that said, yes, everything was there. And then they assumed, okay, everything's there. I'm good to go. And they go on. Not that hard. That's common sense right there to look at the last two messages that your driver sent you. But going on, then the driver says, and probably already had enough of this person saying, okay, enjoy your day. And then they respond, I'm going to enjoy my day. You are trash at your job. Have a trashy day. Really? You're kind of pathetic. Just saying. And then they say, I hope your kids grow up like you. <laughs> nice response. I got to say, so to that dasher, that was kind of cool to see. Uh, I'm sorry you had to deal with that when it comes to people like this. Uh, although when it comes to food, yes, it can be very infuriating if the order is messed up or if there's something that's missing. Uh, but the person did tell you, hey, look, this is exactly what was going on. Please use your common sense to take care of it the right way and stop bothering me. Just saying. But again, like I said, I want to know what your thoughts are on this particular one. So come below, let me know. All right, and then we got another text coming from a food delivery customer, and it says, why does the time keep getting pushed? Where are you going with my food? Fuck wrong with you. Fuck my food at. And then the person finally gets back to them because they're driving and they don't want to text while driving. And then it says, hi there. So sorry about that. Had to make another drop off on the way. We'll be there shortly. 
And then I love the tune change right here. And it says, okay, thank you. You can leave it at my door as well, thanks. And then they say, will do. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't do food delivery. I started trying to do it years ago when Uber Eats first started in my market. I hated it because I hate sitting in line for a drive-thru and it wasn't worth it for me. So no, I don't do drive-thru. I don't do DoorDash or Uber Eats or anything like that because, well, frankly, it wasn't worth my time. I like rideshare better. So correct me if I'm wrong. And is the second person who's going to receive the order, meaning you pick up two orders and then you drive to the first person and then you take to the second person, does that second person actually get a notification saying that they will get their food, but they're in delivery or in route to another delivery and then they're coming next? Because in Rideshare on Uber platform, if you are in the process of dropping off a passenger and you are about to go pick up another passenger because a ride came in, it will let that passenger know saying, hey, this person is finishing up a ride. They will be there as soon as possible. It lets them know. So are these delivery apps doing the same thing where they say, hey, your food order is going somewhere else because there's another delivery being dropped off first and then yours will be next. Because if they aren't doing that, epic, epic fail on these companies' parts. You should be notifying your customers that they are in queue. And so if you see your food going somewhere else, they know exactly what's going on. Pretty common sense, huh? Go back to that last text message from before. Common sense, huh? All right, little rant over. But like I said, I want to know, do these companies actually notify the customers that they're second in line in the queue when it comes to a food drop-off or not? Because if not, they really need to do that. All right, and now we've been talking about customers with some crazy texts and that. What happens when the company itself gets pretty demanding? So what you see on here right now is a notification from Lyft that says airing is caring. Roll down the windows, feel the breeze, and get back on the road. Um. Okay, yeah, I get it. Sometimes these companies do send out different demanding emails and texts and things like that when it comes down to it. Like if you don't take certain rides because you don't want to, and then they send you a stupid email that says, hey, don't do that because otherwise you're demanding the reliability of our service and screwing it up. No, you're sending shitty rides. We don't want to take them. Pretty simple. So if you're a driver and you get an email like that, don't worry about it. Not really a big deal. You could just tell them to shove it if you really want to. All right, that does it for some of the crazy and demanding texts and notifications that these customers and riders, as well as platforms, send out to the drivers. If you have a text message string or anything that you want to send me and highlight in a future video, just shoot me an email with the screenshot and maybe we'll feature it in an upcoming video. If you like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified when new videos come out. As always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers, deliver drivers, and your shoppers. We'll see you next one.